Hey folks, been out here doing some planting today in the greenhouse. It's toasty warm out here. It's 48 degrees outside and it's uh, 92 in here. But got our planting station going on, got our plant mix down here, got our shelving. I got the first bunch of uh, tomatoes and peppers planted. Those will be multiple plants in each cup, and then we'll transplant those each into their own cups once they sprout. And we just use the uh, cheap Dollar General styrofoam cups. You just take them out and make sure you poke a hole in the bottom. I just run a pencil in there. Like that. And then I just write on the side what's in it. But we keep them in the trays and they're bottom watered through that hole that we put in the bottom. And just make sure a hole lines up with the slot. Make sure you're not over the top of the slot when you place it. Make sure you're in the middle so the water can get up through that hole without any kind of resistance. We got the vents put in this morning. Well, not the vents, but the vent covers and the automatic openers. And they're already working. Uh... They open, start opening at 70 degrees, and they open up 18 inches total, so they're not even all the way open right now. So they probably got another four or five inches to open, not that it'll make much difference. But I moved some stuff I had in the house out here. I had some elderberry cuttings and some wild roses that I got from a guy in town. I got some blackberries to start. Then I got Hallie's Rose back there in the back. We're going to move it to another location but I want to get it established before we delete it in the old location we got one heat lamp in here and it's on a thermo cube this is called thermo cube I don't know if you can see the name there but pretty neat little item you can plug it into any outlet it comes on at 35 degrees and shuts off at 45 degrees so it's all automatic. Costs about 14 bucks. You can find them on Amazon, but our local store had it. When I get a fan to put in here, once we get sprouts, I have a timer to, to run the fan. The reason we run the fan is it blows the seedlings around and gives them a, a little bit tougher stem once they move around a little bit. And then I got a little LED light if I'm out here in the dark. Got some decorations going on out here. Here's the other vent. It's working as well. It starts getting hotter. I'll start leaving this uh, window open on the bottom of the storm door. And as the hot air goes out the top vent, it should pull cool air in through the bottom. So hopefully that'll work. But so far, been nice. It was so nice in here this morning because it was windy and cold outside. And I walked in here and it was like walking onto a desert island. It was awesome. So let me know if you got any questions or if you got any suggestions, if you've done greenhouse stuff before, because this is my very first greenhouse, believe it or not. So we're going to give it a try because we need to extend the growing season out here in Nebraska a little bit. I'm going to put a couple tomatoes in here in the greenhouse, uh, a more determinate variety so it doesn't grow up and take over the whole greenhouse. But I got a couple good determinate tomatoes that I want to try in here. And we can keep those later on to the season in here in the greenhouse than we could out in the garden. So that's a little update on the greenhouse and the garden situation. Hope you come back and check with us again. If you want to see our videos, make sure you like, like and subscribe. And we like to try to help out as many people as we can. So we'd appreciate it if you share it so we can reach more people. Um, that's the reason why we do this stuff is to help people out. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you back here on Mark Kelly Farm.